Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I am sharing with you my 2019 Ray Dunn collection. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos each week about all things home. So I started collecting Ray Dunn a little over two years ago, and I just love the simplicity of them and the farmhouse feel that they had. In the beginning, I had no idea how popular they were and how difficult they would be to find the pieces that you want. My first trip shopping for Ray Dunn, I was lucky enough to find the whole complete canister set at Home Goods. Whenever possible, I like to use my Ray Dunn pieces. So in my canister set is where I store bulk seasoning like cinnamon sticks and star anise and specialty teas. I have always had a wish list of the Ray Dunn pieces that I would love to own. And I have been able to find a few of those pieces on my wish list. And one of those is the poor picture that I have on my kitchen table. Now I know there is a huge secondary market for these pieces on eBay and other websites where you can pay like five times the amount for a piece that you want. I do admit that I was sucked in one time to buy a piece on eBay that I had been hunting for and yes, I paid about five times the price that I could have found it at the store. After that, I promised myself that I would never do it again. I didn't want to support that very market that made it so difficult for us to find Ray Dunn at retail. I have been really fortunate. I have only had good experiences while shopping for Ray Dunn. I really love talking to the other collectors and I think the majority of the community are just really sweet and friendly people who enjoy sharing their shopping victories with you and pictures on how they display their collections. Inside my glass cabinet with my cookbooks is where I keep some of my most favorite pieces. These are the ones that were on my wish list for such a long time and I was super excited when I finally tracked them down. I was able to collect two sets of the mixing bowls, one piece at a time. Some of the bowls I found at Home Goods and others I had found at Marshall's. The cookie jar was like my Ray Dunn holy grail. I was able to find two of these cookie jars at Home Goods for $19.99, and this is one of those pieces that you can pay hundreds of dollars for online. Down below, I have my Hugs and Kisses canister that I found around Valentine's Day at Marshall's last year. And I also have my Michelle mug that I got as a Christmas gift from a dear friend this year. On my chalk painted cabinet in the kitchen, I have one of my newer pieces. It is a little vase that comes in a set of three that say, Home Sweet Home. And I also have on my galvanized tray, there's a juicer, another creamer, and sugar bowl, and in the back there, I have a covered butter dish. Underneath this cabinet is where I keep a lot of my serving pieces that I don't use all the time, and as you will see, it's where I keep my collection of Bath and Body Works candles. Here I have the utensil tray that I put out for all of our parties and holidays. I have a couple Ray Dunn candles. And then down below is where I keep the cheese platters and I have a few trays. And all those little cheese servers that were on my list for such a long time I have just found this year. Over in the dining room is where I have a lot of Ray Dunn pieces that I really don't use all the time. I just have them here on display on my china cabinet and my corner cabinet. Here on my corner cabinet, I have two of those larger plates or platters, my other cookie jar, and a water pitcher. On the second shelf, there is another set of the mixing bowls and my new favorite little mini mugs that I just found at Home Goods. And then there on the last shelf is my share canister and a drink pitcher. Then along at the back of my china cabinet, I have some of the 
plates and platters and then I have the cake stand. If you were wondering which piece I bought on eBay, it would be that little sugar bowl there that goes along with my teapot and creamer. I had been looking for that sugar bowl for the better part of a year and I just couldn't wait any longer. So I did find it on eBay and with shipping, I think I paid about $45 for it. Yeah, I know that was crazy, but I did learn my lesson and I never have bought another piece on eBay. Some of the pieces that I use the most is this tools canister that holds all of my wooden spoons. I use this several times a day and we really love all the pieces to our little coffee station that I have set up here on the counter next to my Keurig. We have all the fixings for hot cocoa, tea, and coffee and I have my little coffee mug there sitting ready <laughs> at the ready. I don't have too many Radon pieces in my family room. I do have two pieces up on my mantle that are holding my little pine trees, but the majority of the Radon in this room is over on my chalk painted china cabinet. I was lucky enough before the holidays to find several Ray Dunn frames all at Marshalls and on the inside of my cabinet is one of my favorite all-time pieces. It is the Chirp Birdhouse that I recently found at HomeGoods. So that is basically the bulk of my Ray Dunn collection. I still have a few pieces that I use to cook with. I have a collection of mugs and bowls and small plates that I use pretty much every day. So thank you so much for watching today. Please take a minute to subscribe down below. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have, and I will see you again soon. Bye.